Hey y'all, what's happening? Chinese here, also known as China Coasting, actress and indie filmmaker. Happy Tuesday. I hope y'all had a nice day. My day was really, really pleasant. So today is my 14 year anniversary of living in Gotham City, New York City. And I can't believe time has went by so fast. Um, I don't regret moving here. Although I've had my challenges, like any human being living on earth, um, I guess the most challenging part of living in New York is, are the rent, the high rent and the very little space that you get in, in exchange for the high rent. Um, the whole roommate culture, which is, uh, um, outside of the high rent, um, New York has been good to me artistically. Um, I met some of my artistic goals here in New York City um, through some films. Um, I have to say the the one film that has um, given me the most visibility. Because um, I had um, on television would be strings attached. Yeah, that has given me the most visibility since moving to New York. Um, and, you know, I have moved on and um, done some really good theater here and film, independent film. Um, I still haven't booked my law and order, but that's coming. So help me God, that's coming. And other drama series that I want to book and will book, I'm claiming it. Um, I've met some really groovy people. Um, some people have really been in my corner. You know who you are. Thank you for being there for me in the trenches when things were not very sexy. Um, and people in Chicago have a lot of people, a number of people, not a lot, a number of people in Chicago have been a great support system for me as well. While living here in New York, my family, my friends, some of my acquaintances, both in New York and Chicago. Um, yeah, it's been a ride and will continue to be a ride. And and I have produced, written and produced how many films since I lived, moved to New York? Four films I've written and directed and produced. Well, I've written and produced and acted in four films, directed three of them, and now I have written To Cook or Not to Cook, my next big feature film. Um, it's a dramedy, and um, I'm really, really happy about the progression of that screenplay. It is a work in progress, but it has progressed very well. I've, made, I've incorporated um, constructive feedback I've received over the year um, since I've been having like private readings and such, and then I had a public reading, of course, just last Saturday. So I'm really excited that this will be my fifth film that I have written and produced and will have directed in New York City. But I am, I've hired two actors from Chicago who will be in it, Walayla Mahar and Stephen F. McClain. They are already cast in this movie, along with myself, of course, but I have a small, I have one role I'll be playing. I will not be the lead in this movie. I will be just directing it and having writing it and producing it. I'm actually looking for investors to come aboard, to put money behind, to cook or not to cook. And um, I got some really wonderful feedback from people who were moved by it and engaged by it and said that they, it was relatable, it was real. Um, it was insightful, intelligent, cosmic. Um, yeah, yeah, deep. Um, so I'm really happy that it impacted people in such a way. And yeah, so here is to my fifth film 
in New York, right? Dark City, San Jose, Free Thing, Big Chops. Yeah, my fifth film. So join me on this continued ride here in New York City. And I just can't wait. Oops, drop something. I just can't wait to uh, book Law and Order and other drama series here in New York. Book them with no conflicts, scheduling conflicts. Um, and yeah, so here's to New York City. The city that never sleeps. It is both beautiful and bizarre. Peace, Chinese.